Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to share something with you that I have found interesting. I have two users here, one is an administrator myself and one as an editor. But what we're going to do today is that we're going to remove uh, most of these uh, uh, links that we do have here in our menu panel. Um, for example, when we have a, a client, maybe we're developing a custom software and we just want to use WordPress, but we don't want to have all these showing up, or maybe we don't want to have one particular item showing up. So we want to customize this and make it uh, better for a custom experience for our customer. Maybe we want to remove particular items for our editor or a subscriber, whatever user privilege they have, we're able to actually edit this. What I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to start up a plugin uh, where I'm going to write all this code that will go in here. So I'm going to go into uh, my local installation and then I'm going to just uh, open up a folder and I'll just call it uh, edit, a editor, editor's guide, maybe. Uh, I don't want this to conflict so I'll drop this in, in a, I'll drop this in my editor and then I'll set up the file. So I'll call this editor's guide at PHP and then uh, next is uh, I'll start up a PHP file and put in the requirements that WordPress or Classic Press has. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is uh, write a plugin name, call it editor's guide, then we'll give it a plugin author with Lawrence. And then, uh, of course, we're given a plugin URI. And then, uh, cool. I'll just correct this. And then I'll do the same for author. And then I'll add a description uh, saying that this plugin edits the menu for editors and then uh, the next thing that we'll do is uh, we're going to add a version and then we'll start writing our code so 1010 zero, zero. so we'll save this and then I'm going to go into my administration area in the plugins and I'm going to activate our our plugin so I'll find it here then activate it and of course it starts so uh, I found an interesting article online uh, written by uh, Code Potent, who is uh, really big about uh, boosting Classic Press, and he talks about how to add a custom utility plugin uh, for your website. Uh, he goes into detail of how to explain it, and uh, you can actually just go to codepotent.com to see that. So he has also some code snippets of how you can begin and how you can uh, namespace your, your file and then go ahead to start on it and what you need to do. So I would encourage you to go and read that article. It would help you uh, figure out a couple of, of things, uh, especially if you have conflicts with your plugin. So the first thing that we're going to do in our code as we go back here is uh, we're going to tap into an admin hook, which is uh, we're going to add an action and use uh, the default classic press or WordPress uh, setting. So we're going to look for admin menu which is our hook and we're going to add a function that we're going to call uh, remove editor settings so I'll just uh, make this. remove editor settings and then we're going to start up that function right here and the first thing that we'll do is that we're going to just test out with one page and we're going to remove. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the remove menu, we'll remove menu function and what we need, uh, and I'll show you this because it works for all, all the same. So whenever you go to each of these links, I just need you to look down here, you'll see what we're talking about. When you go to the dashboard, you see that it's an index.php uh, if we go to post, we see it has edit.php, if we go to media, upload.php, same for pages, edit, but it has a post type of page, 
comments is a uh, edit dash comments of php uh, themes.php users tools and settings so let's just try out with tools and see how we can remove that so when you go back to your code all you need to do is just add uh, 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 you quote this and say tools.php is what I want to actually remove so at the end we terminate this function and then the next thing we are going to do is uh, just cross check if this is right yeah so when we save this and go back and reload our plugin in here we see that we no longer have the tools section uh, right here in our in our plugin so the next thing that I'm going to do is uh, is I can actually just go ahead and say I'll remove also the settings which is the options dash general the PHP so I'll just duplicate this line and make it for options dash general the PHP so if I save this go back reload our page you see that we don't have the settings so I, this is quite important as we go to the next step so you can actually make sure that all these are not even visible if you're going to use a, a customized system and you can write your own uh, uh, you can write your own uh, menus like I've shared in the video there's a video that if you look up in the information link or in, if you look in the notes below this video you'll see the link that I've put there you can create your own custom uh, post types and create your own custom menus and that will allow you to have a, a, a particular experience as a custom software for WordPress however we can lock this up and say maybe we only want this particular function to we want this to run only if the user is an editor so we should allow administrators to actually have all those options but we should remove all these options for the editor so there is a function in WordPress which is called a current current user can so the capability is usually the person so if you say this person is an editor so what we're going to do is make this a condition and say if the current user is an editor then we should run this particular function so, so we're going to add the functionality this particular functionality to our to our our function so we go to this and add and then we'll just move all these options and move them up so that when we go back to our uh, our browser and reload we see that we have the tools and settings right here however if we open up uh, this in incognito and go to login as uh, an editor just quickly login so we have our editor as a user just quickly find the password so when we log in as an editor we actually see we don't have some of those uh, let me just use the post item to make it more obvious uh, so what I'm going to do is here add this extra link and just change this to edit.php and click save if I go back right now we're in our editor you can see here if I reload we actually don't have posts for our editors so the only thing they can do is work with pages and media so you're able to customize a uh, classic press or wordpress for yourself and use it uh, in your daily to give a particular uh, experience for your users so thank you for watching i'll be sharing more of these little tricks for you uh, keep watching the channel if you like the video please give it a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't don't forget to click that bell so that you get notifications whenever new videos out. Enjoy yourself.